James Lundis next is uh, San Lucia Highlands Chardonnay from McIntyre. Stay tuned. I've tasted a lot of SLH wines, San Lucia Highlands wines, and it's really fun to taste Chardonnay's, Pinot Noirs, and uh, really visiting the area as well. There's not a lot of sites to visit there in terms of tasting rooms, but it's absolutely stunningly beautiful and pristine, and that's the way you want your wine region to look like. So uh, here's what we have before us. I'll bring this a little closer so you can see the label. McIntyre Chardonnay. Now this is a 2016 vintage. So here's what we have, SIP certified, so sustainability in practice certification. So it's not something you just buy, it's something you have to live by. Um, I think that's really important distinction because as a wine producer, you know, first of all, it's not easy to do, it's hard to do, there's a lot of people doing it. And, uh, you know, really take that love and care for the planet and the people that are producing the wines is really essential and important. So I love talking about that. So Chardonnay, um, I think this is a great region for Chardonnay and Pinot Noir and uh, one that I think gets a clip sometimes in terms of say in San Francisco uh, the center of gravity is often Russian River Valley or Napa depending on the variety and as opposed to saying you know what there's some really great uh, Chardonnay from this region or Pinot Noir from that region and great Cabernet from that other region um, a lot of it you know center of gravity is really really powerful and uh, you know I think a lot of people you know really buy that assurance of the Appalachian or the AVA the American Viticultural Area but I think this is a bona fide fantastic region where you know I've experienced myself these really beautiful warm uh, daytime temperatures that cool down quickly because of the Pacific Ocean which is just a few miles west of here uh, San Luis Islands that cools things down for amazing Pinot Noir and Chardonnay so this wine is a, uh, you know, do my tasting notes beforehand. So really beautiful characterization of this wine. 92 points out of 100 points. So this is a uh, nose of quince, pear, apple, a bit of baking spices, as well as a floral uh, identification as well. And next, the palate experience. So when I think of Commas pear, I think of wintertime, but it's also pairing with Adriatic fig, a very summery fruit. But additionally, it's matched with uh, cinnamon notes, a bit of uh, salinity from the sea notes, and um, a bit of uh, white floral characterization. So that's what makes this wine unique and interesting. Again, 92 points out of 100 points. More wines to come, more information on this producer down below, as well as a SIP certification if you want to read about that. And uh, subscribe right up here, so please do that. And the purpose of doing so is very simple. You will see the latest videos that I'm producing. And please do not feel obligated to see all of them because I produce a lot of videos. I get it. Uh, but, uh, you know, maybe there's one that piques your interest. So thank you for watching. Again, appreciate your support. Questions and comments on this wine or other wines down below or on the social medias that I'm on, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. Thank you again. Stay tuned for more. Something.